So 40 seconds on the clock, plenty of time. 115 she's kilos for just the uh, once European champ. She's so methodical, yeah. so almost emotionless on the surface. Emotionless and poised and it almost looks like she doesn't want to be here, but you can just see that there's so much going on yeah, internally. Focus. And then an explosion of power. Oh, it's wobbly, but she's so athletic. She always looks up. There might have been a press out on her left elbow. Yeah, she got a buzzer. Must have been two reds. Don't if you see that, she didn't even look up at the lights. No. Yeah, I think she knew. The jury want to question this, though, which is interesting. We did see a, a lift earlier in this competition where it was three reds. The jury overturned that and made it a good lift, so possible luck for her here. We'll see on this replay. Dora's best clean jack is 120 kilos. That was at the last World Championships. What do we think, Max? You know, that left elbow, we'll have to see the replay here. That left elbow looks like it could have bobbled. You don't have the view that we do from inside the competition yeah. hall, but they're playing it on the big screen here. They've kind of got it on a freeze frame, and they're just now talking amongst themselves, making the decision. They've made a decision. The decision is now being passed back to the speaker, who will announce it. The lift is still a no yeah. lift. Yep, confirmed it as yeah, no lift. They just wanted to check it through, but they agree. Which is a shame because she wasted so much effort, really, to yeah. be that close. Well, 115, 116 is Vasquez's opener. If she wants to move up, looks like they are. We see her coach, Tobaya, moving that 115 up. Bad news for. Some of the U.S. fans in the back room, Danielle Gunnin, missed 115 kilos in the clean. Oh, wow. She's got 118 written in as her opening attempt. It's not a good place to be. You but know, she fought so hard in the snatch. She's a real gamer. So, yeah. she, you know, that might not be too much of an issue. Yeah, she's a very gritty kind of lifter. She just gets after it. But uh, missing a clean is certainly not the most encouraging. And a round of applause here for the loaders who have done particularly well actually uh, they've set the standard I think for how loading can and should be done at future competitions yeah really exceptional they've practiced and practiced and practiced too so here comes Dora so that first attempt was wild she had a, a strong clean but she was pretty much all over the place on the jerk she Split, caught the lift, but just was not locked out and then had to stumble around to save it. And just very slowly walks over to the bar. Yeah, take note of the slow dip she has in the jerk. Yes, very notable. Gets the hands set. Oh, that's much better. Much better. Yep. Yeah, that dip, I mean, Max, I don't know if you can... Tell us a little bit about why that might be preferable over a, a quicker You know, it's a dip. it's an odd choice technically to dip that slow. Generally, the speed you start the dip with or you dip with is not as important as the speed you turn around with. That braking phase at the bottom of the dip is what's most important. The more reactive that is, the more power you'll get out of the bar, the more rebend you'll get out of the bar. So a slow dip like that kind of eliminates a bit of that oscillation you get at the barbell at the bottom. But... Yeah, she's incredibly powerful, so she drives it bar high enough. Definitely has an unorthodox technique in both lifts. You know, looking up a lot, yeah. pulling the bar around her knees a bit, jumping forward a bit. But she makes up for those inefficiencies with grit and power. So they've bumped to one. Well, she's bumped up. It's going to be 117 now, so bring out Nina Sturks. Right. Open we know attempt. she took 114 in the back. She will surely come out yeah. of this. This is really... This is a big lift for her. Getting close to her best. Whatever she's been doing in training has worked well in the snatch. She looked great, made three for three lifts. Yeah. One of only three athletes in the session to do so. Try 
trying to muster all the energy she can, talking herself into it. It's a good claim. Yeah, solid. So easy. Oh, she's got a fight. Yeah. Well done. She did a little bit of work. I if you saw, when she brought her feet together, she had to stay on slightly bent yes. knees. And then once she was balanced, she, she stood up properly with both legs. Yeah, fantastic lift for her. Yeah. She looks very good Just this competition. Great. I mean, right now, her best total in this category, if we take a look, is... I don't know exactly what it is. 209, I think. Oh, so she's event. not in the top 10 yeah. in this category. So, but she is in the top 10 in the 49s. So that's why this is so important to her. Yeah. She has to qualify as a 59. If she doesn't, she's going to have to lose 10 kilos in body weight to go to the Olympics well, as not, a 49. Not being able to eat your favorite foods for a pretty yeah. long time is motivation, I imagine, to make yeah. some big lifts. And she so, had to do that the last Olympics, and it took a yeah. lot out of her. Yeah, it really, really wrecked the performance there for her. So here's Danielle. She had a tough time in the back room. She missed 115 kilos in the clean crushed her a little bit but as you said match very aggressive left her that's better oh. yep she's up with it oh. she's fighting she's fighting yeah. she's fighting for it are oh. they gonna no you know right at the last second you could watch her back she started to hyper extend and then once that happens, you have no stability under the bar. I do wonder, though, if even before that there was... It, it wasn't a firm lockout. There was a little bit of wobbliness in the elbows as well. This oh. is tough because that clean looked so heavy in the stand-up for her. It takes a lot out of her. Yeah. Yeah, well, that cut down from 64 is going to take away some of your strength. It just becomes hard when you can't gain any muscle, yeah. you can't gain any body weight to continue to drive your strength up and strength is going to be the primary mover of that clean and jerk well also she's had a uh, she had a flare-up of scoliosis well she has scoliosis she had a, a flare-up in her back she told us for between 2021 and 2022 and hasn't been able to do any full squat programs for a long time oh wow finally before this meet she said she ran her first full squat cycle so that's probably why her leg strength is a tad down at the yeah. moment Here's El Renando at 118. Her teammate, Heidelin Diaz, made 115 kilos in the back room. She'll be out shortly. Oh, big clean. Such nice technique. Powerful oh, wow. jerk. That's a very yeah. solid lift. Great footwork in the split. Everything about that was very nice. She's in a great position here. She's at 100 in the snatch. She's just ahead of her teammate, Heidelin Diaz, at 97. Yeah. She's made the first at 118. Yeah, Heidelin's oh. going to have to make all three clean and jerks, I think, because she's going to have to go big yeah. on the third one. Well, that's her specialty, though. Yeah, yeah. She's done it before. She'll do it again today, hopefully. Here's Vasquez at 118 kilos. She's looking to move ahead of her teammate. She's behind her in the snatch by... Two kilos. And this 118 would be a, a very solid lift for her as well. This is four oh, kilos yeah. shy of a training best, she told us. 122. Good work. That was a tough yeah. recovery on the clean. You could see her back started around. Her hips had to curl under to get <laughs> herself back up. But she has a powerful jerk, so she's she happy. get away with that. Yeah, it's a little forward, but she just dropped her hips, even in the jerk a little bit, and brought them forward, scooted back under the bar. Now here's the teammate, Gomez, who currently is in an Olympic spot and wants to keep things that way. Heidelin Diaz has now made 115 kilos three times in the back room. Wow. Just sticking at that weight. Yeah, she, I imagine, plans to open quite a bit heavier than 119. 
Either that or she warmed up a bit early and she's just waiting. Because on paper she's next. No, she's two attempts out. Oh, strong clean as well. A little bit better than her teammate. Does she have the jerk? And a better also jerk strong. as well. Yeah. Yeah, very yeah. confident open she's up. She's definitely in position here to hold on to that spot. Mm -hmm. She does not want to give it up to her teammate. All right, I think we're going to go back to Danielle Gunning at 118 kilos. She's having a tough day. Missed two of her snatches, made a third. Now she's missed her first clean and jerk as well. Max, what does she have to do to make this clean easier? You know, the more aggressive she is on the re on the catch, the better she is able to bounce out of that hole, the less energy she's going to take up. And it all comes down to the pull for her. Well, did push her back yeah. a bit, but she's up. She's got to stay stable here. She's really got to fight for this positioning. She's holding, oh, she's fighting. Go, nice job. Great jerk. Yep. She I mean, a world better. apart from her yeah. last one. You know, she's very strong, very tough. She moves around, wobbles a bit, but she's got grit. Yeah. She doesn't give up on no. anything until it's beyond over. Taylor Wilkins has got 121 kilos written in for That's opening attempt. That's a huge opening attempt for her. Yeah. They're obviously here to try and put something on that board, try to get as high as they can in the rankings. So Diaz now, 119 this is going to be her opening attempt. she going to no, I think she was going to come out for it at the Olympic Games as we mentioned as a 55 she cleaned and jerked 127 kilos a spectacular lift to become Olympic champion since then her best clean and jerk is 122 which she did at the Asian Championships a few months ago that's she said where she yep. reclaimed her confidence so she's bumped up to something because Nina now is the next athlete out yeah, Diaz is bumped to 121. Yeah. Yeah, she's making moves for bigger clean and jerks here. She needs to close that three kilo gap on her teammate, Elrionando, who's snatched very well here. Well, if she wants to do that, she needs to do 122 for her opener. Yep. Some more movement from Mexico as well. Does Gomez go up here? Yep, Gomez is going to bump. So up to 120. Nina Sturks, yep. Everyone's just kind of followed the leader here all the way to the 120 mark. Yeah, we have Nina on this weight. We also have Danielle on this weight. Dora's there as well, as is Vasquez, as is Gomez. Chock a block at 120. This could be similar to that 100 kilo mark where it could really stop a lot of lifters in their tracks if they're not saying, oh, we've got a, another bump. Sturks has moved up to 21. Oh. Number nine moved as well. 121. Everyone's moving again. It's yeah. it's that, that right follow the leader here. No one wants to be left behind. But whilst that happens, it means that athletes are taking bigger and yeah. bigger jumps. Oh, France so moving as well. Is it? Uh, so Chikunte is bumping up from 120 to 21 as well. 21. So it's back to Danielle now. Surely she is going to. No, I mean maybe she's not. Yeah, I can see her not. going above that. Yeah. She's probably going to go for broke here. She's got 118 on the board. At least close to 122 yeah. for there her. There comes a change from the USA. Yep, she's moved again. Look at this. To 122, Diaz. she's moved to. Yep, Diaz to 121. We'll see. She might go to 122 as well. Yeah, that 22 would do her better. That would move her ahead of a teammate by the kilo. And look, it's Nina was there waiting to come out. Yeah. I realized that 
there's a bit of a rigmarole going on, and she, she might need to sit back down and wait her turn. Well, Diaz is still on the board here, here she at 121. Comes. She's coming for She's it. She's going to take this. She must feel confident there's more in the tank. Yeah. There's her coach, Julius. Coach and husband, of course. This is a big lift for her. Yeah. This is six kilos off her best, and that was a huge attempt when oh, she took it. Her heaviest opener ever. Oh, good clean though. Very strong. She never catches a first bounce, but she wow. has done now, and her jerk never, well, <laughs> almost never fails. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. She is in top form right now. She's still, though, a kilo behind yeah. her teammate, El Renando, who has 218 on the board. Well, they're both on, uh, they're both on 218, right? Yeah, but of yeah. course, Ando did it first. So, Yeni Alvarez, Lo Shi Fang, and Camilla Conatop are at 45 kilos in the back room, 15s on the bar. Pei Yi is up at 85. So, there's definitely a, a front running pack forming in the back room after those snatches. Yep. Anyone at over 100 is in the running for this. Here's Nina, second attempt. She told us that this exact weight, 121, is the most that she's hit all year. So we're going to see a, a massive lift from her now. Oh, oh she got a clean. bit forward. Heels came off. She does have a strong jerk. Oh, look at that. That is stunning. What an exceptional lift for her. Yeah, if she can get a better bounce and stay further back, more towards the midfoot in that stand in the clean, she can add another few kilos to that. Uh, there's not a single lifter in this competition that has as much momentum moving them forward as Nina Sturks does. Five lifts in a row, all successful on the platform. Personal bests as well. So Vasquez now 121 kilos. This will put her up at 215, which will move her one kilo ahead of her teammate Gomez, which is exactly her plan. Just try and get a kilo ahead. Now her first attempt, her first clean was a bit tough. Watch her recovery here. Watch her back. That jerk was a touch out front as well. This is a big lift. Oh. oh, came down on her. She's grinding through. Wow. She's up. How did she get up with that? That recovery was a bit rough. Oh, it's forward again, but she's done the same <laughs> thing. How does she get herself back in front what of the bar and stabilize it? a fight. That is grit. That clean yeah. was brutal. Brutal. The bar fell on her chest. Oh, it she just ground it out, oh, but made that jerk, even though she had to take several steps forward to get back under it. Her back rounded, she did everything she was taught not to do, but yeah. at this level, you do what you have to do. Yeah, she's in it to, <laughs> she is in she's this, in, she's in it to win this. She's not in it to win it, but well, she's in it to beat her teammate, yeah. but the ring to that just doesn't quite, Yeah, it's not so catchy. And well, here comes the woman that she's trying yeah, to beat. Literally right behind her on her heels, 121. Yep. Gomez now a kilo behind Vasquez, but this lift will move her back ahead by two. Cool. Tough also stand. Tough. She shifts over to her right leg. But the oh. jerk's stronger. Phenomenal yeah. lift. Very, very good. She was a... Vasquez. Okay, yeah, three whites. Brilliant. Her teammate Vasquez made a valiant effort. Gomez comes out and says, no, you're going to need more than that. <laughs> I'm not sure Vasquez has got more than that, unfortunately. <laughs> That's going to put Gomez at 217. This is a battle. Vasquez would need 
a 124 clean and jerk to regain the lead. You know, it almost mirrors the battle in the U.S. there. Yeah. Two lifters just slugging well, it out we've here. We've not even seen Taylor Wilkins come out yet. She's 122. bumped to 22. Her record, U.S. record, is 124. Very heavy opener. Two kilos off her best. Chakunta now. This will be a one kilo personal best. It's a six kilo jump. Yeah, she's been in the back for a long time. This puts her up at 217. She's not looking for a medal. Yeah. But she is looking to get a good placement, try and get that Olympic spot. Wow. Oh, what a fight. She lets oh. it go behind. You know, that very distinct style. Slow yeah. everywhere, slow to approach the bar, gets set, slow pull, jumps forward. And that fast um, under. Yeah, very fast. But that slow super dip. slow dip, you know, it's it's so unorthodox. But yeah. when she makes them, she makes them. Fortunately, not today. So 122 now for Taylor Wilkins. Huge opener, two kilos from her best. Two kilos off the American record as well which she owns. So it also move her four kilos ahead of her teammate. So I believe Dora might have been bumped out of the top 10 at this World Championship. She was looking to get back in, but she's not been able to. This 122 from Taylor is uh, everything here. Oh, very solid clean. Ooh, oh, it's forward, she... but she's fighting. <laughs> How did she do what that? What a save. The did look, you see? The look she gave after that, I don't <laughs> think she expected that to be a make. When she split, she then didn't move her front foot for the entire rest of the lift. Her yeah. back just came all the way to meet the front wow. foot. Wow. She was so forward. What an incredible save for her. I mean, t for a lift that big on an opener, yeah, that could have gone either way, but wow, she is in incredible shape. So here comes El Renando. She's bumped four kilos. She's going to try to get ahead of her teammate now, Hyden Diaz. This should put her at 222. This, this really puts the pressure on Heidland. Well, she's Such fighting it. She's got to hold it. She has held wow. it. She maintains the lockout. Splendid lifting. They are going back and forth. There is so much back and forth here yeah. between these different teammates. And and we, we comment on that as well because the Olympic spots here are really up for grabs between different teammates. You can only send one athlete from from a single nation, so it's going to come down to whoever's in the lead, whoever's highest on that ranking list. No one wants to give up any ground to anyone else. They're also fighting so hard against the rest of the world to get up there. So Sturks here, 22 is on the bar, but she will move above that. She made 21 in her last. I think we're going to see a lot of movement here. So, Vasquez at 22, she'll bump. Yeah. I think we'll see Gomez bump as well. She's at 22. I think we're. Probably well, gonna Vasquez see. Vasquez needs 24, right? Yeah, we're probably gonna see a 123 from Gunnan, is my guess. Yeah. That would put her ahead of Wilkins if she makes it. There's really no other reason to go anywhere but 20 up. So, update from the back oh. room 
Wilkins we have uh, Camilla Connor tops at 95 kilos, Loshi Fangs at 75, Pei is at 95. Yanni Alvarez was at 65 a couple of minutes ago. She's likely up a little bit more now. But there's still those four athletes, the last four to open, are still quite a way down in the weights. So They've got a while. This is huge. Five kilo jump for Gunnan. This would put her ahead of her teammate, Taylor Wilkins, who's got 122. It's a huge personal best for her. They're tied in the snatch. Yeah, this is a monumental lift for Gunnan. 120 she made as her absolute best. She did that at the Pan Am Champs this year, back in March. So this is a three kilo best. She's got to make a great clean here. No, she yeah. was too much. She had to wait for a little yeah. bit too long. Yeah, just I beyond. think she laughed her way off the stage there. She's, she's okay with that, at least right now. You know what? She fought so well in the snatches to come back after a few misses. Training looked to have been going very well for her. But. Well, she gets a total. Yeah. She and it's a total at her first ever world championships. Now, this for six for six. This would be massive. 222 kilos this would give her. Now, if we check the Olympic rankings. This is a weight that will put her up into seventh. She'll she'll be yeah. sitting pretty tight in the qualifying spot if she makes this. Well, I'd put her above her 49 yeah. ranking as well, which is definitely a place she wants to be. If she doesn't make this, she's still in the top 10 based on that second attempt. A beautiful finish yeah. on that clean. That's great. The bar was wonky, but she's up. Oh, oh, just, just leaves it out in front. Slightly forward. But you know what? 220 is going to be right there. So well. Right at ninth place. Yeah. 220. Yeah, ninth. No, it's probably going to be moved down, though. I think we see number nine has made a 225 already yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. It's a. But the th she Possible. only has to be top 10. Yeah. Because she can turn down her 49 kilo slot. Also, when you look at this. She's right on the edge. There are some other things to take into account. One of them is that Taylor Wilkins is actually ahead of her in the rankings. That's June true. 21, but it's, it's yeah. unlikely yeah. she'll be selected for the Olympics because there are higher ranking U.S. women in other categories. So that bumps her up a slot. Then you've got the fact that China might not send a lifter in this category because yeah. it's contested so strongly. Oh. That bumps her up again. Camilla Konotop might not be going because Ukraine has received three positive tests in the last, during the qualifying period, which is supposed to mean that the country's out. Yeah. So when yeah, you take these three into account, she moves from ninth back to sixth. Yeah, she's in a good spot here, actually. She's in a, a great spot. Yeah. She lifted phenomenally, moved herself up that ranking as best she could. So 24 here. This isn't going to hold. That would be Wilkins, but we know she's going to move up. We see her coach there making the adjustment. Shot of the American record, I imagine. Yeah, I'd have to believe after a strong opening snatch or clean jerk of 122. This is it. This is the uh, this is the 124 that Vasquez needs to move back ahead of Gomez. This yeah. will put her at 218 kilos. Such a gritty clean. She's got to rack that bar as best she can. It crashed onto the second time. Now Gomez. Rounds her back over to get up in the clean. Mm. Gomez hit 223 back in uh, Havana. So Vasquez won't be able to move into the Olympic rankings because she's still going to stay behind her teammate. But yeah. she might be her teammate here, which is what she's going for. Oh, she um, just can't. Yeah. Bar didn't actually pass her knees, so she can still she take can the attempt. Go again. Wow, we don't see this very often. Yeah, this would be a, her a heroic attempt if she makes this lift. She's got a lot of support from the crowd. Ten this seconds. would be <laughs> this will be something I've never seen happen before. Oh, oh. <laughs> she gives it a pull. Yeah, even the crowd Much could help her lift attempt. that one. <laughs> I wonder, Max. You know. 
the reason that she was going back and forth trying to be her teammate, another thing we don't talk about is the fact that there might be uh, salaries involved with being yes. the number one ranked lifter in a category. Yeah, very true. You know, stipends at play here that athletes are looking at. Yeah, you know, the, the inter-country battle between teammates is, is probably the most the least obvious to us. Mm. We don't know exactly what's going on there. You know, they're, they're going back and forth. We don't know exactly what the coaches are thinking, how organized that is. So this 24, same weight. Can her teammate do it? Oh, it's tough. She's on the shoulders, but she can't just, get up with it. it's too much. There's a lot of space between her and the bar during that pull. She's limping away a little bit there. So right now, the best total is 222 kilos from El Renando. Let's not forget that in the C session, we saw a 225 from Rafiatu of Nigeria and a 231 from the Olympic champion, Kuo Sung Chun. 125 now. This will bring out Al Alvarez, but uh, no, she, she's, she's not, not going to take it. You no. notice that she's at 105 in the back room right Hyden now. Hyden Diaz has 125 as her second attempt here. That's a huge second attempt. Well, Wilkins has gone to 125 as well. We again, expected that. Why, if Hyden does this, she will once again equal her teammate. Yeah. It's odd moves. She well. is going to do it. Elreen Ando just took Heidlin Diaz's Olympic spot with that 122 that she made. It moved ahead of what Heidlin did right, at the Asian Games, Asian Champs. Wow. And again, Strong she's just equaling it. Is it. It is a bizarre decision, right, to do that rather than doing 126? We don't have... She's just equaling the total, but because she's doing it second, she's never moving either back into the lead in this competition or she's not ever reclaiming her Olympic spot. Yeah, we don't have any idea also how countries select. You know, they may have preferential treatment if you've been yeah, in the Olympics. Maybe. Well, she's also got one attempt. Right? Yeah, they've got one left each. They both have one left. She's maybe just waiting for that third to, right. to retake. With clean and jerks like that, it's very possible. Camilla Konotop has got to 118 kilos in the back room. She's put 130 in. I no, no, 126, sorry, is her down. opening attempt. Alvarez is bumped to 128. Yeah, that's the joint heaviest with Lo Shi Fang. Final attempt now for El Renando. This will put her up at 225 kilos. She snatched 100. She's gone five for five so far. So many made lifts in this women's 59 kilo session. This 125 would be up three, give her 225, would force Diaz to take 128 to tie her. So she need 29. Can she grind out of that? Her technique has been so nice. Oh, best clean yeah. right up out of the hole. Oh. oh. Just not quite there. Yeah, oh. left elbow buckled. The weight was out in front. And on. so she leaves it open for Heidelin Diaz. She is on paper, though. She's ahead. Yes. You know, on paper, she's got the 222. She did it first. She would technically be ranked higher. Heidelin could just take 126. Yeah. To move back ahead. I don't think Heidelin's in any, any uh, concern here. She's such a good... Yeah. Clutch clean and jerker as well. It's true. So here's Camilla Conantop taking the 126 opener. Yeah. Camilla told us that she made 130 kilos this year. That's her best. So it is heavy, this 126. But a lot of these athletes are opening up very close to the numbers they've told us are their best. And this, of course, will. She's taking this because it puts her above Kuo Sung Chun. Just complete authority. Just over stomps the it overhead. Wow. Yeah, so 106, 126. That's 232. Kuo Sung Chun was on 231. 
So Wilkins taking 126 on her second attempt. Oh my word. This is two kilos above her best ever clean and jerk. This is so annoying. I mean, based on her clean at 122, I feel like this is possible. But the jerk was just it was a little very bit wobbly. Forward, yeah. It was, yeah, that's right, it was forward. Well, you know, based on the qualification, too, she just needs to get up that ranking list as high as she can. Well, I actually received word from uh, Mike Gatone in the back that apparently they're just looking at Olympic qualification totals for this, yeah. for Taylor right now. They're not really even looking at placement. Yeah. But really, she need, needs to be up near 230, if not over 230, to be in the ranks. Wow. Oh, so tough strong. recovery. Huge pull. Oh, oh yeah. she just can't. It was forward, yeah. it was behind. The footwork was just not good. <laughs> that front foot was, their feet were both in midair. Yeah. Front foot came down first. All that weight was in front of her. Still a valiant effort on that clean. That was a grind to get up with. Is Pays in V. Looks, yeah, it looks like Pay is ready to come out at 127. Right now, Heidelin's in at 126, but we... If she moves, it's going to steal that clock from Wilkins. That right. would be a, an unpleasant event, and I she's imagine. Surely, unless she wants to do this just to move back ahead yeah. of El Renando, even yep. though it's only... Now she's moved. She's bumped. She wants it. She wants, I mean, if she's feeling good, she might as well put in as big a total as she can yeah. to make it harder for Ando in yeah. her next performance. She's only taking 27, though. She's potentially looking at a, a clean and jerk medal, maybe. Yeah. Although that could be a risky move. Obviously, there's plenty of competitions left to move up that ranking, but... And also, 28, if she went there off, I mean, she might bump up again. That would be an all-time personal best for her. Yeah. I could see that as well. Yep. Pajin Yi, 127. See how this looks. She's the youngest athlete, the only junior in the field, 18 years of age. Something to remember, 231 is the current highest total from the C session. Yeah. That's with uh, Kuo Sing Chun. So this won't beat it. No. Now Pei owns the junior world record in the clean and jerk and total, but the clean and jerk's 133. So we may see her move up to the 134 mark on her third attempt, assuming she makes these. A great technician, just not quite as strong as her teammate physically yet. It's a good clean. Powerful jerk. Yeah. You know, her chest even caved it a, did little a little bit at the yeah. bottom of that dip. Yeah. Her feet were not in line, though. No, they weren't. <laughs> yeah, both of these uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we both saw both of those. A, a yeah, a little bit of upper chest sort of collapse at the bottom of the dip, but it didn't matter. Yeah, it didn't even phase her, I think. So 127 is being loaded now. Diaz is the lifter. Does she come out and take this? This would tie her personal record. Yeah, I think sometimes, yeah, she's you know, out, it looks like. sat here in the commentary seat, we look for meaning and reasons behind all of these lifts. Is she trying to beat what she hit at the Olympics? Does she want the personal best? Or maybe they just, they didn't even think about that. And they just think, what do you think you can make? 127, let's put it on the bar. It would be an interesting strategy when there's so much on the line. <laughs> yeah, 127. This moves her back into Olympic contention. Head of her teammate. Tough clean. It landed on her hard. She's known for a powerful jerk. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, oh. The same weight she had to make at the Olympic Games yeah. to win, she does again to get herself back ahead of her teammate, qualifying for the Olympics here. Yeah, last time she made it, she beat the Chinese. This time, not quite, but it's a great lift. It's a great total for yeah. her to hit as a 59. So she's got 224 there. Probably not going to be enough to get a medal in the total. 225 is currently second. 
And that's in the C session. We still have two more athletes to open. Yeah. And then three athletes with attempts. Four athletes with attempts. Huge attempt, 127 yeah. for Wilkins here. She's got support from her athletes in the stands here. 127. This is a three kilo American record, three kilos over her own record. This be for a 225 total. Presumably an American record total, too. Wow. Oh, better it's better. Clean. It's better. It's better. Oh, it just uh, leaves it out front. Does not get the bar behind her head yeah. at all there. Yeah, it just caved to the dip. So, so close. What a great fight. That clean Brilliant. was monumental. Yeah, strong effort. Yeah, just like you said, you could tell that she focuses on so well on her technique in the clean, but the jerk is just a little bit off. So wow. strong in the legs. So here's Lo Shi Fang, who took the gold in the snatch at 107. This is her opening attempt now at 128 kilos. This will put her at 235. The biggest total we've seen from any 59 during Olympic qualifying is from her. It's at 238. So she's setting herself up to extend her dominance. Yeah. Because she has to prove to the Chinese coaching staff that she is not just the best in this category, but she's in the top three of all Chinese women. Yes, yeah. It's got to be a sure bet for them to pick her, just to show that there's a 0% chance anyone else could win. It's a good clean. Yeah, that was an extremely strong lift. That's very short arms. Wow. That jerk is that the is most solid lift we've seen all day. Incredible. She has so much more in the tank. The footwork, the head positioning, the lockout, the speed. Not to mention the fact that she can clearly squat an absolute brick house. So Alvarez bumps up again, 129 though. Wow. Everyone is going for broke here. Now, Yeni's best clean and jerk is 133 kilos. That was a winning lift at the World Championships in front of her home crowd last year. Yeah. So she's, this is heavy, but she's capable. It would only give her 229, still not enough to surpass Kuo Sing Chun's C session 231. You know, she only flew in all the way from Columbia on Wednesday night. She had one session yesterday. She snatched 90. She cleaned up to 110. And wow. now here she is. Tightens her belt. Big clean. Oh, powerful split there. Yeah. Phenomenal. There we go. Well, she's she's on the board Unbelievable. here. Unbelievable. Yeah. 229. She's in striking distance of a medal in the total for sure. Question is which one? Yeah. One thirty now. This is going to be Conatop, who's dropped down to one thirty from thirty-two. So Camilla Conatop has a two thirty-two in. She's above Kuo Sing Chun. She's currently sitting in well second place. Yeah. Would move her to 236, would put her ahead of Lo Shi Fang, but I just can't imagine Lo Shi Fang is not capable of <laughs> quite a bit more. So powerful. Yeah. Right oh into that my power word. Chair. Just extraordinary. That puts her at 236. She. Reclaims the lead by a kilo over Lo Shi Fang, and she has an attempt left, and she's looking strong. She's looking powerful. Yeah, 
So right now, Peijin Yi is going to move to 130. That'll give her a 232, would put her. She might go for two. Third. She is going to come out for this. I thought she might bump to 31. She's probably paying for the. Paying. Playing for the medal. <laughs> um, rather than looking at getting her junior world record. Yeah. It's more important to walk away with a world medal. Three kilos shy of her best. Phenomenal young athlete. Yeah, as Max mentioned, potentially competing at multiple Olympic Games in the future. Perhaps not this one. Oh, she's falling oh, she backwards. Yeah, out. Yep. Just a little bit off balance. A so bit surprising, actually. Yeah. You know, we saw her perform last year's Worlds was just an absolute incredible performance. So the 130 is to move her ahead of Kuo Sing Chun's C session total yeah. of 231. That's what that's what's going on here. Yeah, she has that 102 snatch in. Uh, she'll probably be taking this here pretty shortly because there's no. Conatops put 136 in. I imagine that's, that's a placeholder. No. Yeah, she's not she's just that. waiting to see what she needs to try and hold on to the lead. But uh, I don't think Lo Shi Fang is gonna <laughs> is no. gonna let that happen. Well, interestingly, neither of them are world champions yet. Wow. Yeah, neither Lo Shi Fang nor Camilla Conatops. So they're in probably this very nervous position backstage where clearly either of them could win. Camilla's had two attempts. She's going to be nervous that she takes the wrong third attempt. Yeah. She has to wait and see what Lo Shi Fang does and then take the correct final attempt and then yeah. she's going to leave it to Lo on her third attempt to win it or lose it. This is to move into not even bronze, unfortunately. This will be into fourth. She's a little bit behind. That's better. Yep. Grinds it out. Oh, very good jerk. Yeah. That back knee place. Got to hold it. Yeah. Unbelievable. She didn't collapse on that one either. You could see her torso. Yeah. So we have what, five attempts remaining, is that right? Yeah, five attempts. Two for Lo, two for Yeni, and one for Camilla. Now the real question here is what does Yeni Alvarez do? She's got the 100 kilo snatch. Her best clean and jerk is 133. That's from last year's Worlds. Yeah, I know we mentioned this before, but another interesting thing, you know, athletes get used to the equipment they use. I gave that belt to Yeni yesterday. Wow. And now she's lifting in it, which you have to imagine that the lift is going to feel a little bit different because of that. Yeah. I mean, if it's a comfortable piece of equipment, yeah. you might not notice. One thirty two, kilo below her best. This would give her a two thirty two, put her above Kuo Sing Chun's. Oh, it's a good clean. Up. Oh, wow. she's got a hold. She's got a hold. Oh. Oh. It was just a little bit forward. You can yeah. see that in the split. May have rushed a tiny bit to recover. She's not in a great spot here. She's going to follow herself with 132 or have to take the one kilo increase to pull Lo Shi Feng out, but she may also move as well.
So she's going to... She, I mean, she has to make 132 to move ahead of yeah. Kuo Sing Chun. That would be the minimum she needs. I mean, she she really wouldn't be smart to take 32 unless she absolutely need. Or sorry, 33 if she absolutely needed time. It looks like they were at the scores table there. But you know, if she if she goes one kilo more, she'll get bronze. Yeah, that's true. So maybe she should go for 133. I don't think she's going to. It doesn't look like it, but. Right now we have Camilla in the lead, Shi Fang in second, and uh, Pei Jin Yi in third. Yeah, the 32 would actually tie her and put her into fourth. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think I think they declared 32. We saw them at the scores table. Yeah, they declared yeah. it. And I she's going for the medal, see, right? Yeah, in, we're going to see a bump. You think she's going to bump? Is that what you said? Or? I would think she goes for the 33. It's only a kilo more. Yeah, I mean, it feels like the right decision. It's hard to know. You know, we don't know what she's capable of here. Yeah, it might feel like a kilo too much. No, she's coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is an enormous lift for Yenny. It's going to give her a guaranteed medal in the clean and jerk. The reigning world champion. She's not going to win again, but she can walk away with the medal. Oh, it's a yep. good clean. On clean. Can she hold uh, it? <laughs> Overcompensated, yes. just pushed it behind. Yeah. So That's very devastating. close. 229. And she gets helped up and off the platform. She lives to fight another day. Unfortunately, Yeni Alvarez will not walk away with a medal at this competition. 100 kilos in the snatch, 129 in the clean and jerk. Yeah. Here, Lo Shifang, 133. So this will move her 240. back into the lead. 240, wow. That's a huge total. Opening lift was very strong. Camilla will then need 135. Wow. That's just a strong. I mean, that's well, she's got more. Astonishing. How Camilla's got to be is. worried here. Yeah, that Camilla's last clean and jerk. That clean pushed her pretty deep. Yeah. The jerk is always strong, but that clean was a bit harder than we've seen. 240. That's now the biggest total that any any 59 has hit this qualifying period. The world record is 247. That's close some churn. That was. Uh, yeah. I believe back at the 2021 Asian Championships. Just a few months prior to the Olympic Games. So Conatop does the right thing. She drops down to 135. This is a five kilo jump and it will put her, if successful, at 241 kilos. This is just the you know, most is, dominant 59 category we've seen yeah. since 2019. Yeah, so, so stacked. Conatop's a lifter who, at Europeans, is used to being in the driver's seat. She's used to being the front runner yeah. here. This would be her last lift, leaving one lift remaining for well, you know, Fang. This is, a, this is a five kilo personal best for yeah. her. Massive lift. Oh, no. Oh, Ooh, my clean. word. Oh, oh, she, she just rushed into that jerk. Yeah. I, I have never seen a lift quite like that. She no. came so far forward. It so pushed far. her back down all over her toes. And then she found balance. Uh, she just came unfortunately back up. rushed the jerk. She's such a strong lifter in the jerk to have just gone so early on that. 
That's unfortunate. Yeah. Let's see here what Lo Shi Feng does. She's got 240. She's dominated this whole competition. Made five for five lifts now. 136. She's got golds across the board. Which means that Kuo Sung Chun has won a silver medal in the clean and jerk from the C session. Wow. But not in the total. She'll place fourth. I don't think she'll mind. She's not really here to win anything. She's just training through for the Asian Games. And this would give her 243. The question is, is that convincing enough to the Chinese to yeah. put her in? That's exactly right. This is for proof that she's a good choice for the Olympics next year. Wow. <laughs> There's more in the tank as yeah. well. In every lift that she had, there was more in the snatch. There's more in the clean and jerk. Lo Shi Fang is the most dominant 59 kilo lifter in the world right now by some way. An astonishing competition full of ups and downs, makes, misses, losses and wins. But Lo Shi Fang takes the gold medal. She goes six for six, a 107 kilo snatch. 136 kilo clean and jerk, 243 for the gold. The silver to Camilla Konotop of Ukraine, her best finish at the World Championships, 106, 130. The bronze medal to Pei Jin Yi. Not her best day at the office, but still she gets bronze in the snatch, fourth in the clean and jerk, but she walks away with third overall in the total, 232 kilos. The runner up from the C session, the Olympic champion, the world record holder in everything, Kuo Sing Chun, 101, 130. Uh, just a stunning session here. We saw huge attempts from lifters like Taylor Wilkins at massive American records, 127. Yeni Alvarez fought for everything she had at 132 to try and get a medal in the clean and jerk. Heidelin Diaz moves back ahead of her teammate, El Renando, into the Olympic spots. Nina Sturks, all new personal bests. 220 kilos in the clean and jerk for her. Just this session absolutely lived up to the hype that we've been giving it over the last few months. Yeah, truly a phenomenal session. So that's going to be it for the World Championships today. But of course, tomorrow we have another A session. It's going to be the men's 73 kilo A session. We have athletes like Rip Vasu Harev, Mitsunori Konai, Mohamed Ozbek, Yusuf Gench, Julio Miura. Back to you, Masanori Miyamoto, Mirko Zani, Wei Yin Ting, Sutipong Jiram. It's going to be absolutely stacked. Before that, there's a B session that includes athletes like uh, Ryan Grimsland, Max Lan, Luis Mosquera, some absolute heroes in the sport of weightlifting. But the first session tomorrow, of course, is going to be the men's 73, sorry, the women's 64 kilo D session. That one's early. Uh, it's 9 a.m. local time, so you can work that one out. The full schedule is on the Weightlifting House Instagram if you want to check that out. We'll keep this stream going so that you can watch the medal ceremony and watch Lu Shi Fang be crowned world champion for the first time in her career. In fact, we've just seen Kuo Sung Chun. She's been grabbed from the crowd. She's running round to the other side of the stage. She has to be ready to receive a uh, silver medal in the clean and jerk. From Mia Max, it's uh, goodbye for today. We'll keep the stream going and you'll hear from us again tomorrow.